yeah. building that chemistry. That's going well. It's going good. Uh, I mean, we didn't really expect anything. Um, in that sense, I mean, I just thought, I mean, it's going well. It's easy because they're good guys. So. Yeah, very easy process to be honest. And do you, you guys pretty much understood that it was going to take time from a court standpoint, just getting used to playing with each other, that it's going to be a process here that you're working through? Yeah, I mean, it's universal, mate. Right? Like, everyone knows that. It's just a common thing, really. Yeah. Steven, you mentioned the last time you all played Minnesota, you lost it before that final shot. Where do you guys need to do something better early on in order to get this one? Yeah, well, pretty early on. Uh, well, four goes, we stick to our game plan. Um, it should sure put us in the best position uh, possible. And again, it just comes down to being, uh, having the mental stamina and being disciplined with all the little things. Because um, those, obviously, those, those come into play. Uh, if we could do that for the whole game, then we'll probably have a, a good chance of winning the game. Steven, do you feel more comfortable on, on plays when you're guarding pick and rolls, where you drop back some more, or do you feel more comfortable when you play that more aggressive style and you can go even with the screen? Ah, depends on personnel. Um, Honestly, uh, yeah, really does. If the big, if he's a slip guy, then I feel better dropping. If, he's, if the guard comes off really hot, I prefer jumping him, um, get it before he goes downhill, kind of take him before then. So it really just comes down to um, personnel, really. Steven, uh, Russell talked about a routine he has at the free throw line and it being kind of thrown off by you know, some of the new rules in the league. Do you have a routine that you go through, whether it's mentally or physically, when you go to the free throw line? Yeah, I mean, that's going to throw me off the top. <laughs> I, won't, I won't do it. No, be serious anymore. And getting in trouble. Um, no, so, yeah. But, I mean, I, it hasn't affected my routine, but for some, some people, they need whatever their routine is. They've been doing it for so long. It's just one of those things that you've got you know, you to change. And, you know, but it's whatever, man. Stephen, I feel like I feel like you're a good barometer for toughness. Is that fair to say? Where would you judge like how tough Carmelo is? He seems like for a guy that's such a good shooter that he has a lot of toughness. Um, yeah, I don't know. Depends on what your definition is. Um, I don't know. What do you reckon? He seems like a guy that can be physical and do a lot of things. Yeah, I mean he's definitely physical. He's played the full spot a lot. He's dealt with a lot of uh, bigs. I mean he's been he's been down in this area a lot, which. In that sense, it's toughness because down here a lot of a lot of stuff happens. Um, kind of you get hit a lot or whatever. So he's been down there a lot. So some toughness in that aspect. Yeah. Do you can garner some respect in that aspect. Pardon? Some respect. He can get some respect in that aspect. A little more physical than people might think. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, Carl Anthony Towns has has talked before about you being one of the toughest matchups for him. <laughs> What is he for you? What have you noticed in playing against him? What's the challenge against Cat? What's the challenge? For, uh, for me, well, it's just one of those. He's just one of those players that uh, it's it's not playing style like Anthony Davis, but it's he's one of those type of players where he inside and outside. Sorry, mate. Yeah. Yeah, we're inside outside, so that obviously that's trouble in itself. Uh, it's easier, obviously, to do to only do one thing. Um, but I guess the challenge is. It's not all me, you know, it's, it's strictly 100% on the team defense. I mean, he's one of the main guys, their main go-to guys. Um, and so if you've got one of those main go-to guys, high volume shooters, the whole team needs to actually just help out in some way. Um, and it's just influencing him in, in positions where it's like the lowest percentage really that he wants, if that makes sense. So that's, that's pretty much a, um, that's a whole new thing. I ain't giving you any intel, like secret yeah. stuff. This is, <laughs> this is common knowledge around the whole, She's the enemy. Do you notice? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell him. Do you tell notice him, if, if and when you get him frustrated or get under his skin? Can you tell when you've gotten to that point? Nah, not at all. I mean, I, I don't pay attention to that anyway. It's, um, I only pay attention really to. Uh, so I watch their watch their film, their play, where they get the catches, where they're, what they're looking for, and so that's what I really look for is if uh, he's off his spot and stuff like that, and then where the help is as well. It's just those that I look for, not so much like. It. I was a bit upset today, and I mean, <laughs> less of that and more of the actual stuff that he's doing. Yeah. What's the key to, set to being a good screener? Pardon? What's the key to being a good screener? Uh, the guards, honestly. No, seriously, the guard has to wait, otherwise you'll get a moving, a moving screen. Uh, the guard waits and the timing is good. 
uh, has enough patience for you to set up properly, then that gives the best grip. Then obviously the guard has to come off shoulder to shoulder. That's the only reason. I mean, there's no, the bigs can't do nothing. You're not allowed to move. Really, so once you get there, it's, the guard has to do his job. Yeah, from there. So that's pretty much it. But we'll take credit for it. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, we'll take credit. Uh, speaking of the screen, one, the, the way that the game ended in OKC, Cats at the screen and Wiggins hit the shot. Yeah. Just the way that ended, and unless they talked about you guys feel like the game was decided earlier, but yeah. to have a finish like that on your floor, how did that sit with you guys for the last five days? Oh, I mean, I guess we're not, we're not dwelling on it. I mean, we played another game. So. Like, it was one of those quick turnaround things that, you know, it happens. We've got plenty more games. Um, We've seen where we get wrong. Again, it's like, like we lose games and stuff, but we, we have something bigger in mind. Like, we always look at the bigger picture rather than like, oh no, this game, like, let's quit. Like, that's not that. It's just, look, this is where we need to get better in these areas and hit a Hail, Hail Mary shot. Let's live with it. Yeah. Thank you, Steve. Thanks, Thanks, Steve. Steve. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Steve.